Prince Harry was spotted at the Rugby Today in his first public appearance since the devastating details of Meghan's letter to her father were revealed, showing how she begged him to stop his painful attacks on her kind and patient husband. Harry was seen belting out the national anthem ahead of England's Six Nations clash with France. He then warmed his hands in the chilly conditions before sitting down for the action, which ended in the home side beating their French rivals 44-8. A deeply personal letter sent by the Duchess to her father was published this weekend, in which she accused him of breaking her heart into a million pieces by giving interviews to the press, fabricating stories and attacking her new husband. In the letter Meghan admonishes her father, in anguished tones, for siding with her half-sister Samantha, who has attacked her in the press, while she silently suffered at the hand of her vicious lies. She goes on to complain that Mr. Markle has made no attempt to contact her, and chastises him for falsely telling journalists he is the one who has been shunned, a criticism her father vehemently refutes. She also accuses her father of snubbing her and Prince Harry's offers to help when he pulled out of attending their wedding following two heart attacks and accuses him of being ungrateful for money she has given him. The former award-winning Hollywood lighting director, who now lives in Mexico, said that he never intended to make the handwritten missive public out of respect for Meghan Dash but says he has been forced to do so now because its contents have been falsely portrayed. Contrary to claims made by the Duchess's friends, he said the letter made no attempt to heal their bitter rift. I thought it would be an olive branch. Instead, it was a dagger to the heart, Mr. Markle, 74, said last night. He dismissed suggestions he has made no attempt to patch things up since her wedding. He showed this newspaper texts which he says prove he reached out multiple times to his daughter and the son-in-law he has never met. The U.S. magazine People claimed to put the record straight over the Duchess's relationship with her father and criticism of her style as a royal. It was based on interviews with five friends, at least one of whom is thought to be one of the Duchess's co-stars in Suits, the legal drama in which she starred for six years. The Duchess came under fire over her apparent decision to allow her confidence to defend her in the extraordinary interview, without, it is understood involving Kensington Palace. The palace has refused to comment on whether the magazine's anonymous sources had cooperated at the direct request of the Duchess or with her tacit approval. Former Buckingham Palace Press Secretary Dickie Arbiter, who worked for both Prince Charles and the late Diana, Princess of Wales, feared the decision would only exacerbate issues. He said, assuming, and as these sources are anonymous we don't know for sure, that this was done with her agreement, it has opened a Pandora's box. The issue with her father is an open wound and I'm not entirely sure it is the best idea to aggravate that. Last night, Mr. Markle said it was unfair for his daughter's friends to use the media to spin a line while he was being criticized for giving a handful of interviews to the press. In the article last Wednesday, the Duchess's friends said that she was devastated by his response to the letter, in which he suggested father and daughter pose for press pictures. One friend said, she feels like that's the opposite of what I'm saying. I'm telling you that I don't want to communicate through the media, and you're asking me to. Did you hear anything I said? Mr. Markle said he had suggested the photo op as a way of showing the world they could be friends again, describing the Duchess's reading of it as tragic misunderstanding he wishes he could put straight. The rift between the Duchess and her father began after the mail on Sunday revealed, just days before her wedding in May last year, that he had colluded with the paparazzi to stage a series of lucrative photo opportunities. Such was his humiliation that he offered to pull out of attending the royal wedding and was later prevented from going after suffering two heart attacks. Since then, he has given a series of damaging interviews in which he has spoken of his dismay at being cast adrift by his daughter and the royal family. Five nameless friends of the Duchess spoke to people in an effort to counter the global bullying directed at her. Mr. Markle, who allegedly staged paparazzi photos of himself days before his daughter was due to marry the Duke of Cambridge, has previously claimed his relationship with his daughter has broken down. He has made public appeals, including during an interview on Good Morning Britain, for his daughter to get in touch with him. Meghan who is currently pregnant, revealed in mid-January her baby is due around the end of April or the beginning of May.